This is Kobe from Dude Perfect, and these are 15 RC boats that he's going to wakeboard behind? This Blake Days Breakdown is brought to you by me because I don't have any sponsors yet. This one's pretty wild. Can you wakeboard behind RC boats? If somebody does something cool behind a boat, you bet I'm gonna do a breakdown about it. First thing we have to discuss is, is this actually wakeboarding? This is not meant to be derogatory towards the dudes or anyone because I know they like boats. I even think this was Cody Jones's Axis boat back in the day. And there's also this Mastercraft scene in this shot right here. So I know they like boating and they understand boat terminology. However, this board here is a wake surf board, but this is an excellent choice for trying to be pulled up by a bunch of RC boats because it has a ton of surface area, which will create less drag and the RC boats won't have to work as hard. Yes, this is a wake surf board, but they are being pulled at wakeboard speeds. Wake surfing, you go around 10 to 12 miles an hour and you can legit surf on the wave produced by the boat. Wakeboarding, you go 15 to 25 miles an hour and can do jumps like this. Also, just looking up wakeboarding on Webster's Dictionary, it comes up with this. When you search for wake surfing or wake surfing, nothing. People from all over the world watch Dude Perfect. And to better connect with their audience, I can understand why they use the vernacular of wakeboarding. Next, what is this boat? It wouldn't be a breakdown without boat info. This is a ski brundella, as you can see here and here. It looks like from the early 90s. It is a direct drive ski boat that's similar to the one I grew up on. Now, could they actually pull off this extreme challenge? It took some testing and multiple failed attempts, but they finally figured out how to make it work. They used the ski brandella and this boom to get Kobe up on the wake surf board because this is the part that would require the most amount of force. It would have been tricky to sink the RC boats and the real boat, as you can see right here. There was slack in the line and the RC boats couldn't handle the sudden surge of weight. It also didn't help that Kobe lost his balance. Finally, they got it. It was a success and pretty incredible. In Cody's own words, Unbelievable! The dudes seemed like genuine guys and I would love to have a day on the lake with them. I even have a secret new boat we could use. Shh, I'll show you soon, trust me. If you wanna check out my last breakdown about a $400,000 boat sinking at Lake Powell, click or tap the screen here. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.